Welcome to Sew New York and my sewing tutorials. I'm Laura McCracken and today I'm going to teach you how to make the permanent knot. The permanent knot is used when you do hand stitching and when you're finished with whatever stitch it is that you're doing, you need to make a permanent knot. So let's go and take a look at that today. All right, let's go. So in this lesson, I'm going to teach you the permanent knot. What you're looking at right now is a row of um, catch stitches. So no matter what stitches you're doing, and I'm talking about hand stitches, no matter if you're doing a hem, so if you're doing a hem stitch, or if you're doing the slip stitch, or in this case if you're doing a catch stitch, when you've finished your stitches, so right along to about this point here, slide this down a little bit, here we are. This is where our last stitch was taken. And if that's where you're finished, either because you're done sewing and that's the end of it, or because you've run out of thread, the thread's gotten too short, you're going to need to make a knot right there so that your stitches do not come out. And I'm going to show you how to make the permanent knot today. Okay? So, first of all, when you're going to make this knot, you don't want the thread to be too long. So, from the point of where the eye of the needle is, right about here, to about right here. You want to have, oh, maybe five or six inches of thread at the most. Okay, and it should be single thread on your needle. Okay, and now what you're going to do, you're going to go into, actually, I should actually make this a little bit, let's bring it in a little bit closer so you can see exactly what I'm doing. And that looks like it's pretty good. All right. So, you're going to take your needle and right where your thread came out you're going to want to go in there and just pick up a thread in the fabric. You're picking up this thread so that you can create a loop. And let's see that loop. There's a little loop right here. Okay, so you see that loop? And when we create this loop, I just want you to see. Okay, we created a loop. Now, we're going to take the needle and we're going to go into that loop. So you're going to go in the loop and carefully pull it through. And then you're going to go into this loop here, this bigger loop. This is the loop that you made by going into this one. So now you want to go into that loop. And what you're doing is you're creating a nice neat figure eight. And you do want it to be neat as you pull it. So can okay, we got in the camera here? Let me just get all this right back in the camera. Okay. So now you want to carefully pull your thread, and I do mean carefully, you, you want to keep it balanced. You don't want to have uh, the threads, one area of the figure eight bigger than the other or smaller than the other. So just kind of keep an eye on it, and you're going to pull it so it's nice and neat. Go back into it if you need to, and pull and that's your permanent knot. So that knot's not going to come out. Now if you want to, you could cut it right there, but to be extra careful, and it really is a good idea, you want to bring your needle back into the fabric right where the knot is. So there's the knot. You're going to go right back in the fabric, and you're going to go between the layers of cloth, and you're just going to come out, oh, somewhere maybe a half inch away, like that. All right, and then pull that through and then take your snips or scissors. I like using snips, they're great for threads. And just come right in and let's cut that right off. Perfect. All right, so now that's the permanent knot and that's never gonna come out. And that's what you'll be doing at the end of your um, hand stitching. All right, great, thanks. Talk to you soon, have a good day.